Hello and welcome to another EA Sports UFC 4 video and today we have an extra special banger for you as it's all about an introduction to undeniable transition fakes. You ask yourself, why do I care about an undeniable transition fake? Well, it's going to help you get out of one of the more damaging positions on the ground. I still see some of the best esports players still taking these shots over and over and over again. So if you've been in this position and you want to know how to effectively get out, stay tuned. Like always, I work really hard on the video, so please subscribe to the channel. You know I'm going for 250 likes and I'll immediately start working on the next video. Comment below. Let me know if you know of any other undeniable transition fakes that you want me to cover. Without further ado, let's get right into the rank fight where these undeniable transition fakes saved me. All right, before we get into that rank fight, how many players just sit right here in the bottom sprawl and just take these shots over and over? Even some of the high level players don't just sit and eat these strikes. They do a lot of body damage and they give a lot of points to your opponent. So what you can do is fake the transition to half guard. Now you gotta be quick here because you need to get these done within the first two frames. And the way to do that, you flick down on the right stick, but then you wanna hit L2 within the first two frames of the startup animation. And if it's done successfully, done correctly, you will not see any meter feel on your, your gauge. So whenever you go to half guard from this position, like you see right here, that meter is not filling up at all going to half guard. And what's that going to do is look at that grapple advantage up there. The grapple advantage is going to be high and then you can get right back to your feet. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today, this undeniable transition fate. All right, facing off against a very uh, tough opponent. Is he high enough? Okay, coming out, Rose not Muniz. You know I'm going to take that space. 93 kick power with four stars there so one thing i want to talk about first this neutral space you want to be able to control this and be effective high and low so i went low first and i set that up by my previous kick and then i went high so that neutral space is somewhere where you still want to be dangerous and create like a 50 50 scenario if they go high you go low and vice versa okay now you know I'm going to stay in the pocket as long as I feel I have an advantage there pressing my opponent. And that was a nice shot right there. Rose has a 90 takedown defense with three and a half stars that we've seen. But again, still, I'm going to apply that pressure. But focused here on the low kick. Look how many times I go down downstairs first and lead off with that low kick. Okay? And all I'm doing is conditioning my opponent and we'll talk about that there also going to do some damage you don't want to whiff and i know my opponent wants to go to the ground a very effective grappler and is he high enough that we're facing right here and i'm cognizant of it as you can see but i'm still just putting that money in the bank and going downstairs to that leg just chipping away now this is what i want to see those hands down because my opponent is conditioned because of how many times that I went down low. Now it's time to switch up the game plan. I see that block is down low and my opponent is aware. And then I throw that heat, that 93, and then followed up with a huge combination with Rose Nam units you can't play around. And that's that 50-50 scenario that we talked about. But here, the main concept of the video, Use undeniable transition fakes in this scenario instead of taking all of this damage. Now, in this case, my opponent did not execute it correctly and I was able to get the transition block, okay? In that case, you didn't cancel it fast enough because that is an easy transition to half guard to block. So you don't wanna just do that. And what ended up happening is my opponent stayed on their back for the entire remainder of the first round that loses your round all right coming out doing something different again that neutral 50 50 space started out with a head kick all right so i'm keep mixing it up going down low just keeping my opponent aware of something different to look at i should say okay so 
right here in the pocket you know these are my favorite things i just had to show those side steps i love those side steps that's my favorite thing in the game to make your opponent miss now we just trading right here and i'm keeping an eye on that head health because i will trade as long as i feel i had advantage just like that a huge knockdown there with that 92 three and a half stars punch power by rose not munis now it's a fight now got two knockdowns so i'm feeling pretty confident like what could go wrong in this scenario but the title of the video we're going to show you guys still throwing that heat got an intercepted there but see this is a well-timed takedown here from my opponent because i had no stamina low on stamina but now let's see i'm in this position where i'm on bottom sprawl so what should i do i did not do the transition fake correctly that meter should not feel and look what ended up happening i'm taking a lot of damage on the ground and now i'm back in this scenario and let's see if i do it properly here so i took one strike and look this meter does not feel at all for this undeniable transition fake because i was able to cancel it with l2 in the first frames okay but i didn't do the transition block and i still ended up taking a lot of damage on the ground so that transition fake to get you out of sprawl is literally just one piece of the puzzle okay so now i'm trying to get my sticks together and i did okay got the transition fake and got the transition block okay and now i'm just ready to get back to my feet but am i successful not yet because you're not out of the woods you still got to disengage from that clinch so here what i did was block low again and then block high because you have a fuzzy guard advantage there look back at my previous videos you can't whiff because you will be taking some heat if you whiff on those leg kicks so understand what you're doing okay the last and final round here standing in the pocket throwing some heat back and forth with izzy i know izzy is very dangerous but got another knockdown there in the third round and another one and i really don't want to be on the ground because i know my opponent is very strong on the ground and things are going good but look at this in major trouble my opponent wants his fight to the ground in a huge slam on rose not munis now from this position i'm able to get the trend the submission block now still in the clinch you got you have to disengage from that i know my opponent wants to go down low so i'm all over that takedown denial okay so it's all she wrote right there huge left hand there from rose not munis and that's going to be all she wrote so just because i was able to effectively get out of that bottom sprawl position led me to getting back to where i want on the feet and got a knockout there so please support the channel if you learn anything new in the video please drop a like because they are very welcome and they help the channel please subscribe to the channel share the video see you in the next one peace